Hello everyone, once again, my name is Nathie Vader and today I'm going to show you some things that I picked up when I went to Japan. Uh, I did forget that I went to Japan a couple of years ago and when I did, I actually bought back a load of stuff. In fact, a whole box full of stuff. But I never really got around to properly displaying it or documenting it. So I just put it in a box once I got back home and then I ended up putting it back into the loft. So I'm going to have to go into the loft to go get it. Oh, hi. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. And uh, I forgot how much stuff I actually bought back. There is um, quite a lot. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, I've got myself set up. So I'm just gonna start pulling things out at random. I think I'll start with this big one. And it's the Uno Dilophosaurus um, card distributor, I guess. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Uh, a T-Rex foot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think that's part of the set. But uh, yeah, I picked this up in Toys R Us Japan, um, just outside of Osaka. And I saw the uh, Dilophosaurus sticking out of the box. I was like, oh, wow, I need that. I mean, I'm not really into Uno, but, you know, anything Jurassic World and with Japanese writing on, even though I think this is just a sticker. So it would be uh, like a US one, um, just with the Japanese stickers on. On the back there, it just shows you uh, how it spits the cards out. And a little T-Rex logo there. And you push down. Uh, 65 million years in the making. Uno attack Jurassic World. Add speed and surprise to the game because you never know when the Dilophosaurus will attack. Uh, when you press down, you may hear the Dilophosaurus warning rattle. You might hear a mighty roar and see a Dream of Uno attack cards. But, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Who's it made by? Mattel. Excellent. Yeah, it's just a really cool, different thing. And uh, I think that's going to be the theme, really, for stuff from uh, Japan. So I'm just going to put that to the side. Right, and next. Oh, okay. This is uh, something I remember picking up from. It's like a local store just by the hotel I was staying at. And uh, these are like candies, but with uh, stickers on as well. Uh, some of them are tattoos. Uh, so this is a Jurassic World one with Velociraptor Blue on there and a few temporary tattoos. And then you get these individual snap-off uh, packets with little tiny eggs in, you see there? And each one's got a different logo or something on there. So it's got uh, Baby Blue, and a T-Rex, and then the Raptors, and then Baby Blue again, then Indoraptor, and another T-Rex. So uh, yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. And there was a few different styles. So there was one with a, an Indoraptor on the top and more temporary tattoos. And then these are like a triangular shape, um, sweet container packet with a, a nice uh, different render of an Indoraptor there I've never seen before. Um, there's another one there. And this one I think is all Indoraptor themed. Yeah. But again, really cool, different, never seen these before. And one more is now a T-Rex with some more temporary tattoos. And this one are like gummies, but uh, they have gone pretty hard. Oh, it's a little lolly. Tell a lie. I've told a fib. It's actually a lolly with a T-Rex head, if you can see that. And uh, there's one in the Raptor. And a Mosasaur this time. And then a Baby Raptors. Nothing really on the back there. Just a load of blurb. But those two. Okay, so I do admit I went to Harry Potter World as well while I was there and I picked up a Butterbeer. So, uh... Now, I'm not a massive fan of Harry Potter, but I've always wanted to try the Butterbeer and I got one of these cool like Stein things as well to put it in. Up next, I got this Jurassic Park mug from the gift shop. 
Um, there was plenty of things from the gift shop and this is just one of them. I'm sure there's more in the box. Uh, a nice T-Rex image there and a Jurassic Park logo that's um, pretty unique to the park, I guess. And a load of keep out tape, I think on the bottom. Just the Jurassic Park sticker. And 800 was a thousand yen. I think it's yen. Oh, please. I can't remember. Um, I don't even remember how much that actually is now. But, uh, I think that's pretty cheap though, 800. I think that was only like about six or seven pounds, maybe. Pretty cheap. But uh, I do like my mugs, and uh, I couldn't walk away without this one. Uh, next, we got Nano Blocks. Uh, the I think there's another one of these somewhere in the box, but this is the Jurassic Park Gates one, and um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I've never really had any Nano Block stuff, and uh, this one I think is unique to the park, so you can only get these from Universal Studios. It just shows you the gates constructed. Uh, I'm probably never going to build these because uh, I hate say, taking stuff out of the box. But as you can probably tell, this box is a uh, kind of dinged and dented and that was because uh, I happened to go on the Jurassic Park ride and uh, you get kind of wet on there and I forgot that I was carrying this just in a bag and it got kind of moist unfortunately um, yeah I think I've got some footage of that somewhere still and I picked this up from the Toys R Us in uh, central Osaka there was one in the middle of the city uh, which was pretty cool especially when the UK has no Toys R Us now um, so it was really nice to see Toys R Us again and this is the Japanese packaged uh, I can't remember how you pronounce it now Styracosaurus I think if I've um, butchered that name but uh, very nice love the coloration on it uh, and the detail and I do love anything with Japanese stickers on especially when it's Jurassic stuff this is pretty cool. Aha! And here's the other nano blocks that I was on about. This is a Velociraptor, I think. Um, yeah, not much about it really. It just shows you there. Uh, constructed. It looks a little bit derpy, not gonna lie. Um, I saw these constructed and they did look pretty cute. Oh, you can actually see through the dust from the loft or attic, whichever you want to call it. Um, there are the bricks. They are so tiny. There's no wonder they have the name Nano Block. But they come in a nice plastic container. This one survived the <laughs> the water from the Jurassic Park ride. I wish the other box had been made out of the same material. But um, yeah, still another really cool piece to add to the collection. Now, I remember picking these up on the first day that I arrived at the park. There's the uh, city walk outside where you can go and uh, visit the gift shop outside of the park and uh, straight away this packet grabbed my attention I was like what the heck is this and I still to this day do not know I've got a feeling it's some kind of like sweet beef jerky treat or something but the uh, the staff couldn't even really tell me what this stuff is it's, uh, it's a cutlet of dinosaur <laughs> that's as much as I know um, but the packaging was pretty cool there's not much going on in the back there apart from the Universal Studios Japan and the Jurassic Park logo there and these cool images of a Pteranodon, the Jurassic Park logo and then this cool Japanese text and then a lovely, a lovely T-Rex on the other side there. Absolute banger. Now while I was staying at the uh, hotel near the park, uh, Victoria's Cantina got in touch with me and said, well, while you're there please make sure you go to the hotel over the other side of the road because they have their own dinosaur gift shop. And I couldn't believe my look when I went in there. I was very thankful towards Victoria for pointing that place out to me because they had these things, uh, Hakamo uh, Pusu Pusu <laughs> sets, where you actually construct them out of, uh, I think they're like small balsa wood and they make scenes. So here's the Lockwood estate. And uh, these things aren't very big, but uh, the detail with them is pretty, pretty cool. Um, you can see it there. It's constructed. But these are very expensive. I remember that. Um, does he have a price on these still? There is probably still one on some, some of them here. Um, here's the Escape the Island scene there. You can see Owen running with all the dinosaurs and uh, the explosive volcano in the background. And here's the Mosasaur chomping down on the guy, unfortunately hanging from the ladder. And here is the Claire and Franklin scene with the Baryonyx trying to get away from the lava. 
Um, nice little set there. And here's the visitor center with the brachiosaur. Well, actually, that looks like more of an apatosaur uh, wandering through the visitor center there. And that's it, really. I don't know if there's a price tag on any of these. No. But I have a feeling that these things did retail for about £15 each. So they were pretty pricey. It was pretty eye watering. But when I saw one, I thought, I'm only here once. And I'm never going to see these again, so I had to get all of them. So this turned out to be very expensive. This was a cool little thing I picked up uh, when I was walking around Tokyo, I believe. Um, it's made by Sega, and it's a, just a T-Rex statuette. Um, quite nice, and it's got the Japanese text now on this one. And they always come sealed. They're very cool at sealing stuff up to make sure no one gets any grubby hands on these things, like me. It's a very basic construction there, just slipping the tail and stick it on the base and job done. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was a cool little thing. Sometimes when you were going to the counters at Universal Studios, they would have these in little racks and uh, they got a Takara Tomy Jurassic World blue there. And it's quite nice. Um, I believe these are made out of die cast. That's why there's a bit of weight to them. Not really a lot else going on on the packaging. Just to show you blue there. And uh, I also got a Ford Explorer, they call it Jurassic Park car, and uh, some suspicious text there that almost looks like Lego, but I guess it doesn't translate to Lego. A nice Jurassic Park logo on the side there, but it is officially licensed, so it is genuine. And uh, they also have this Jurassic World emblem, which has got some weight to it, so that is die cast as well. And it's uh, on a bit of a slope, so it's nice to display piece that you can lie down and have like underneath a figure or something there. I thought it was pretty cool. Now, when I was, <laughs> bear with me here, when I was going through Osaka as well, they had lots of uh, retro toy shops and uh, on many of my journeys, I would see lots of things that weren't Jurassic related and I couldn't turn this down because it was only the equivalent of three pounds and uh, it's never been used. Um, Godzilla obviously wasn't the biggest film ever, but uh, I, I have a place for it in my heart still. And um, I'd never actually seen these as a kid and seeing this, you know, in 2019, I was like, wow, and it was so cheap. I just could not turn it down. And I'm a big fan of toy box art. And this was pretty cool. I'm not sure who it's made by, Playmates maybe? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Trendmasters, okay. Yeah, you don't really see much from Trendmasters anymore. Nice. And I found these at a retro toy shop in Tokyo. Uh, these are snap together model kits, uh, much like the snap tights that you get for the Humvee and the Mercedes ML. Uh, these are pretty much the same system. This is a Stegosaurus, uh, which is pretty, pretty good. Not too bad, but very suspicious with this one because this is actually, well, it says Tyrannosaurus Rex, but that to me says Allosaurus. And it comes with a nice display base. Um, again, these are sealed. Um, I haven't taken these out, but these were pretty cheap as well. I think these were only six, seven pounds each, which I, again, couldn't turn down. And they're in pretty good condition for 1997. And I've never owned any of the Jurassic Park Burger King wristwatches. And uh, I managed to find two of them at uh, another retro toy shop. And these were about three pounds each as well. Um, they do come with the internal packaging. And I don't think these are actually been used because they look pretty clean. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty cool. Nice JP logo there embossed with the Burger King logo as well. Very nice. And here's the other one at the box. It looks like there's a stegosaur in the background there with a couple of skulls floating around and what's left of some liquid. Um, looks like it could be. Maybe a stegosaur skull as well. There's a spine there in the background or a tail, tailbone. Very odd, but uh, nice detail on the, on the wrist strap. Very nice. And again there, there's the JP and Burger King logos embossed on the back. Very smart. And I also found this fan, um, a Jurassic World fan, which is, I guess, pretty unique to just Japan. 
uh, nice logo there with the, uh, the lava breaking through some rock with the Jurassic World emblem right in the middle. I would crack this open, but it is sealed as you can see. But still nice. I don't think that was very expensive either. Is there a price on it still? There is no price on it. Darn it. But I do remember it being really cheap. There were loads of these at uh, Universal. Um, clear file set, so I guess it's for keeping um, your paper organized. Um, not sure, I think it might be a bigger thing in Japan than it is over here because there were a lot of these. I mean, there were Minions and Marvel, Spider-Man, blah, blah, blah. But uh, the only one I was interested in was this one. And uh, it's got a really cool T-Rex logo on it. Nice feet. And it shows you there's, I think, two styles. No, sorry, it's the front and reverse. My bad. I'm still trying to remember this thing. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice. I found this in a random little retro toy shop in Tokyo. I was just walking around and I thought I'd pop in. And uh, just as I was about to walk out on the counter were a load of these. It's a giant. I mean, I have normal sized human hands and that is a giant rubber coaster. It's quite thick as well. And I was in a really fancy toy shop in Tokyo and uh, walking around, I saw this uh, purse. Um, or coin bag or something anyway but uh, it's, it's fairly big um, made out of uh, a weird sort of recycled material by the looks of things uh, almost like a brown paper bag but it's it's not it's a bit more durable than that um, it's stitched and it has a zipper and on the back you've got danger and velociraptor and a raptor sort of silhouette there with the RP02 and blue and the Jurassic World tag and while I was in the Jurassic Park gift shop, I found this Pteranodon uh, tote bag. It's quite big and uh, it also has two external pockets as well for more Jurassic goodies. And another thing I picked up was this cute, cute little gyrosphere keyring with this sort of rubber coated, um, which is meant to be the glass casing around the gyrosphere. Um, inside is a anodized blue uh, structure of the gyrosphere and the keychain itself has these lovely little sort of diamond sort of uh, touches just to represent the rivets going around the outer edge of the gyrosphere just a cute little cute little thing you can have on your keyring I don't think I'd ever actually use it as a keyring because this thing would just get destroyed instantly oh does someone say keychains <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a very strange blue key ring. <laughs> yeah, they had a few different versions of this, like Jaws ones and stuff. So this is the only one that really stood out to me. I wish it was a T-Rex, but, you know, it's still cool, I guess. <laughs> but also there was this gigantic keychain, a massive Jurassic World logo off a keychain. This thing's got some weight as well. So, uh... Yeah, if you got this in your pocket, you would know about it with the rest of your keys. And a bit of jewellery here. So this is a piercing set. So you've got a, a selection here. So if I can zoom in a bit, you guys can see it a little better. Uh, there's a T-Rex there. Uh, Pteranodon, Stegosaurus. And uh, two Triceratops there. And my grubby thumb. Can you see my grubby thumb? Now you see it, you can't unsee it. And also we've got this, it's an earring set and you've got a purple T-Rex, a gold Triceratops, another purple Pteranodon, a green sort of Apatosaur, a Parasaurus and a blue Stegosaur, which is quite nice. And it's all on this sort of egg themed backing card on the last on the back there, really. Also, there was this really cute Jurassic Park watch for the kids, I guess. Um, nice embossed sort of rubberized strap and a, a bright orange T-Rex uh, Jurassic logo in the background with Jurassic Park there and some green hands for the watch. Just very nice and finished off with a Jurassic Park embossed logo at the bottom. Not a lot else on the back really, just a Jurassic Park logo and some uh, some leafage. Uh, Tranodon, yeah. 
I remember similar things like this when I was a kid that you'd put on your wrist or on your ankle and you would sling this ball out on an elasticated cord and they do call these yo-yo balls but um, I heard of the names for these when I was a kid I think but uh, I can't remember so we'll just stick with yo-yo ball um, on the strap it's got Jurassic Park and on the ball it's got Jurassic Park as well with some warning tape there and a bit of camo finish in the background with the Jurassic Park logo on top and uh, a nice image again of the T-Rex there and just a few little bits now really so we picked up this uh, Jurassic Park pen with the Jurassic Park logo on the uh, clip there and a T-Rex going around that um, and a T-Rex in the background and you rotate this round and uh, it would um, I don't know really what does it turn it from thick to fine and fine to thick yeah I think so yeah that's pretty cool for a pen <laughs> And from the Flying Dinosaur collection from the gift shop, this is the only thing that I could find that I thought was worth bringing back because the rest of it was all generic. And this is a nice Flying Dinosaur pin by the Pin Collection from Jurassic Park. I guess, yes, it is Jurassic Park with the Flying Dinosaur there and a Pteranodon in the background. And all else on the back there. Um, ooh, by the camera. <laughs> uh, there was also this, a sort of, sort of, it's like a coin, I guess. It's just a thick, chunky steel piece of Jurassic World logo, um, which comes in a nice little presentation box. And I also found this Jurassic World badge with the Triceratops on when I was uh, getting a drink one day at a local shop. And here I found a something has survived. This is a Lost World promotional pin badge, which is made out of uh, tin and with a nice old school rusty uh, hook on the back there. It's a nice little piece I picked up. I was happy to find this out in the wild. And probably one of the oddest things that I picked up was this Jurassic Park T-Rex hat that I saw a load of people wearing. I thought you'd only see maybe one or two, but I saw groups of six to 10 people at a time wearing these things. They couldn't sell them quick enough. Um, so I ended up buying one myself. I didn't end up wearing it while I was there because it was sort of 30 degrees C heat uh, sometimes. So it was pretty hot and sweaty, I gotta say. But um, I thought I'd bring this home. So if I ever went skiing or something, it'd be ideal to wear to keep your head warm uh, because your head would come through here. And uh, yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it really? Um, it's got a Jurassic Park logo on the back and a little tiny body at the bottom there. It's a bit, bit of fun. And perhaps one of the strangest things that I saw was this, uh, I don't know, a Jurassic Park wand? I, I don't really know. Uh, it has this very cheapo sort of T-Rex head, um, a Jurassic World logo there on the handle, and a crystal ball with Universal Studios Japan on the, on the crystal. And then going around the shaft, you've got uh, some sort of T-Rex, a Stegosaur, some footprints, a Spino, um, Tranodon there. But uh, yeah, I think if you press it once it glows, okay. And then if you press it again, you know, because that happened in the films. And if you were going to go on the Jurassic Park ride, you could not go from that place without getting a photo. So while I was there, I took part in uh, getting one of those photos to uh, immortalize my time on the Jurassic Park ride, because who knows, this might change to the Jurassic World ride eventually. So I thought, why not grab one while I'm there? And uh, if you look closely, you can probably just make out the terrified man. Um, <laughs> Oh, I forgot how uh, how dirty I looked, but uh, yeah, that's me enjoying my time on the Jurassic Park ride. I think I probably went on there about 15 times, and uh, sometimes it was with you know with, within getting off the ride, I went round and went back on again. And because I was a single rider, I only had to wait five minutes, <laughs> which is great. And it comes in this lovely folder as well. When I say folder, it's just a uh, photo frame but trying to keep this thing safe while I was at the uh, Universal Studios afterwards was quite a challenge um, but luckily they did have some lockers on site so I could put it in there after I got this done and I could come back at the end of the day and just grab it 
and it just it just looks great and it just brings back a lot of memories as well because this was a long time ago this was like 2019 now and a lot of terrible things happened after that so it's nice to look back on some good memories well that's uh that was a lot of stuff <laughs> Uh, it was fun grabbing all this stuff and bringing it all back. I uh, I had a lot of fun there, and the people were amazing as well. I'd, I'd happily go back to Japan, uh, not just for Universal Studios, but for the food, the culture, just everything about Japan just just ticked all the boxes for me to a place to go. And uh, obviously, with Universal Studios there, it was a no-brainer. I had to go there, and uh, I had a, an absolute blast. Um, I'll put some pictures and videos as well of some of the things I saw while I was there at the end of this so you guys can see kind of what I saw while I was there um, but thank you guys for watching my name is Nathan Vader I post on Instagram and Twitter almost daily and it is always Jurassic thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video mm, yes yes why not <laughs>